Hey y'all, Dan with DPS Breakdowns here. Today I want to study some film of Jordan Burroughs. Now for those that follow wrestling, Burroughs needs no introduction. But for those who maybe aren't familiar with the wrestling competition scene, Burroughs has been one of the most dominant wrestlers in the world over the past decade, winning five world championships. A significant factor in Burroughs' success has been his ability to consistently score off of the shot. Today we'll analyze some of the important factors of the wrestling shot with a specific focus on footwork. Let's jump right in. Here are four key components to the wrestling shot. First we have stance, which will generally be narrow and staggered. Next we have level change, and this will be dropping the chest to the lead knee. Then we have drive. This will be generated primarily from the back leg. And finally positioning. And the keys here are head up, head up and hips in. Now let's apply those components to some footage. So first we have stance. So we want a narrow staggered stance. So what does that mean? So narrow refers to how wide how wide your stance is. So you want you don't want to be shoulder width, you actually want to be more narrow than that. More hip width is what we're looking for. Staggered refers to the fact that you're going to have one leg in front and one leg behind. So Burroughs will generally lead with his right leg, that's the one in front, and then his back leg is going to be his left leg. Next we have level change. So since Burroughs has his right leg in front, he's going to drop his chest to his lead knee, his right knee in this case. And that's how he accomplished the level change. So you can see right here, chest drops to that lead knee. As this is occurring, this is crucial, as the level change is occurring, Burroughs is already loading up his back leg. So he's getting ready to drive off of his left leg. That's gonna be where the power comes from, off the shot. It's not from the front leg, it's from the back leg. And so you see here, the stance is related to this uh, component in the sense that as you level change, you're gonna want a slight bend in that back leg, the power leg. You don't want it completely straightened out. You also don't want too much of a bend. So as you can see right here, this looks pretty good. Uh, as he continues to level change, he's beginning to drive off of his back leg. And you can see that right here. So again, power from that back leg, really important. As he comes in, after he drives off that back leg, he's looking to get his hips in. So you can see he's taking a couple steps forward and he ends up in this position right here. Hips are in, head is up. Those are generally two very important things um, to finish a shot. So again, we've got the good, nice staggered stance, right leg lead. He's gonna level change. As he level changes, he's powering up that back leg, that left leg. He's gonna push off of his back leg to, to uh, initiate that penetration step here. So again, that drive. He's reaching for the legs and he's getting his hips in and head up and he gets the finish. One more time. Moving on. Really clean finish here. So Burroughs' feet here, he's gonna be doing something called a split step. We're gonna get more into this a little bit later. Uh, for our purposes right now, I just wanna talk about the stance. So again, right leg lead, left leg back. Burroughs is gonna drop his chest to his lead knee and he's gonna explode off of his back foot. And so you can see, you see the little ripple there in the mat? You can see where that's where Burroughs is driving off that back foot. He's gonna get elbow deep with his left arm here, always a good sign. But again, watch the drive. It's exploding off that back foot. So level change, load up, explode. Here, one more time. Once he's in, he continues to drive forward, gets his hips in, head up. Really nice finish. One more time. Here's another one. Another great finish. This one's gonna have all the usual components. I wanna introduce another idea here though. And that's this notion of once you have solid grips on your opponent here. Here Bur Burroughs has both of his hands behind his opponent's knees. Think of your grips with your arms, not so much as like the fact, not so much that you need to pull the, the opponent into you, as what they're allowing Burroughs to do is keep his opponent relatively in place until he can, Burroughs can pull his hips towards his opponent's hips. Um, 
because the power is not coming from the arms here. Burroughs is going to be able to bring his hips in, and ultimately he's going to get to his feet in this case. So instead of thinking of the arms as doing the work, they're really just doing two things. Number one, they're gonna prevent the opponent from moving back quickly. So the opponent may still be able to move backwards, but they're gonna be a lot slower with those grips on them. And number two, it's also gonna allow Burrow, it's almost like he's doing a row, but he's pulling his hips in. Um, so that it, they're like almost like two handles for him to pull his hips really close. And he wants to get into this position here. Now his hips are a lot closer, his head's up. Now he's able to finish. Now he has the power um, that he did not have initially when he was a lot more extended. So once more, just our usual thing, stagger stance, level change, drives off the back foot, gets his grips. Now he's able to pull his hips in tight, keeps the head up, drives to the feet for the finish. Full speed one more time. So now I wanna explore another layer here and that's gonna be the movement of the front leg. So we talked a lot about the back leg, that's the power leg. Um, but now let's see how the front foot can be moved to either adjust the angle or to move a little bit closer to our opponent. So let's run the tape here. So right here you see Burroughs has that even stance Great stance for defending, great stance for you know general purposes, but when he wants to start attacking, he's gonna switch more to the staggered stance here, so that right leg lead. Now, Burroughs is going to power, he's gonna start level changing, he's gonna power up that back left leg, and look, notice how in this one, he's gonna lift off the mat his front foot, and that's gonna allow him, and I kind of alluded to this earlier, he's either gonna be able to adjust his angle so sometimes he'll take, take a step to the outside or it's gonna allow him to take a step forward here. And you can see in this case, he's taking a slight step forward because what he wants is Dake's back leg. That's what he's aiming for. And his current position right here, he's just not quite close enough. So that little extra step there is gonna allow him to reach, as you can see right in this, in this frame right here. So we've got everything that's gonna be the same pretty much. He's gonna still have his stance, he's gonna level change, he's still gonna drive off that back foot. But now, as he's driving off of his back foot, he's taking a step forward. He's lifting that front foot off the mat and he's stepping in a little bit deeper in. And this is how a lot of people learn how to shoot. And this is a, this is a great way to kind of close the distance a little bit. So it takes a little step forward. Now he's still driving off that back foot. Gets his arms around Dake's left leg in this case. and He's gonna get his hips in. So same kind of ideas, head up, hip in. This time it's a single leg, um, but generally gonna be the same concepts are gonna apply. Burroughs gets to his feet, look at his positioning here. And I love this finish, by the way. He, he's gonna grab the ankle with his left hand, Dake's uh, left ankle. And he's gonna pivot and lead with his head as he dumps Dake to his left hip. And I, this is a little different than the traditional dump. A lot of times you'll see uh, the offensive wrestler will keep the opponent's leg in between their own legs. Here Burroughs pulls it to the outside, which is interesting. And he's also gonna keep that heel, which I like. Pivots, and now he actually leaves the heel and he's gonna get a little club on the head as well. And right here, the only thing Dake can base out on is his hand, which isn't gonna, isn't gonna be good enough Really nice finish. How often do you see Kyle Day get, get taken down that easily? Usually a lot more of a scramble. So again, powers off the back leg as he's level changing, steps up with that front foot, gets a little bit extra penetration by stepping forward. Shoots in, notice the hand post too. Gets his arms around, pulls himself into this really good position, hips in, head up. Gets to his feet, oftentimes a great way to finish is to build your base up. Finishes with that modified dump, really cool. Last time, let's go full speed. Nice little sequence there. So this is gonna be an instance 
right here. Burroughs, instead of, instead of in the prior clip, he wanted to move a little bit uh, forward. This time he's gonna move more laterally with that lead leg. So same idea, just a little bit different of a mechanism. So he power, he's gonna level change, powers off the back foot. Well, again, he's gonna lift the lead leg, but this time he's stepping it just slightly to the outside. So let's, let's run that a few times. So you can see it's not really moving any more forward, it's just moving outside. And that's gonna give Burroughs a little bit better angle on his single leg, which is what he's going for here. You can see he hooks around the leg right here. Opponent does a good job controlling Burroughs' other hand. Burroughs continues to drive forward, he's in good position. And he's gonna, here he's just gonna get a, a push out uh, one point. So just one more time, steps to the outside here, but again, lifting that lead leg, hooks around, trying to move his hips in. Opponent does a pretty good job defending here. Last time. So here's where things get interesting. So when I was studying Burroughs, I noticed that oftentimes he will plant off his back leg and then step his front leg forward the way we just saw. Uh, this is a really effective and really common way to shoot. But what I, what I noticed Burroughs also does is he'll combine those two things into a single movement called the split step. So instead of moving his feet kind of separately, he'll jump both of his feet off the mat at the same exact time. So let's see what that looks like. And we already saw this clip earlier, but now let's really focus on that split step movement. So watch the feet right here, and he's gonna jump them. So they're gonna move at this pretty much the same time. And this is gonna put him more in that hip width stance. It's also gonna give him that nice, uh, nice distance between his feet that he's looking for, so he has a slight bend in his back leg. And so it's basically gonna put him right in position to shoot in. So it's gonna accomplish the level change the powering of the back leg and the movement of his front foot all in one single step here. And then he explodes in. And here it is again. So again, watch the feet right here. There's the split step. So he's gonna move his front leg a little bit closer. He's gonna power up his back leg and he's gonna level change all in a single step. Here, explodes in. Full speed. And here it is again. And this movement can be subtle. So sometimes the burrows, the, the movement of his front foot is just from the heel to the toe. So he's gonna move both feet at the same time. But that front foot, look at that, heel to toe. As he level changes, chest to lead knee, powers up that back leg, big drive, and he finishes. Split step. And so once I, once I noticed Burroughs was doing this movement, I went down a bit of a rabbit hole. I noticed, you know what? A lot of top level guys are doing this exact same split step movement. Um, here's Jason Nolf doing it from the Nationals last year. So watch the feet. Right there. He's got a relatively square stance. And that split step gets him into the position he wants to be in to attack. Notice how his front foot, it's not really gonna move forward, it just moves a little bit inward. But another thing that this split step does is it puts Nolf onto his toes of his lead foot. And that's where ultimately you're gonna have to go on the toes to drop to that lead knee. So this kind of speeds up that process. So he gets his back, he's level changing, he's powering up his back leg, and he's getting to the toes of his lead leg, which is gonna allow him to quickly get down to that lead knee as he drives off the back foot. So there's a lot going on here, but this, what this does is it just kind of, it's like a shortcut to the shot.
So you can quickly go from a square stance, defensive stance, um, to this staggered stance, ready to, ready to shoot and ready to score here. So level change, drives off that back foot, gets the arms around, elbow deep here, and he gets his hips in, he's immediately getting to his feet right here. Really powerful finish, lifts the guy off the mat, gets his two. One last time. Here's Jaden Ironman from Missouri using it. So watch the feet, right here. So it jumps both feet in the air, powers off that back leg, shoots in. Cool finish here, he's gonna hook the back of the leg. So in this instance, Ironman's really using it to get a little bit closer with his lead leg. So we just saw Nolf use it more of a, he was moving it more a little inward, um, getting to his toes. Here Ironman's using it more of a penetration step, he's moving forward. So look how far, look how uh, far apart Ironman's legs are here. And look how quickly he's able to do that. So he goes from this stance to this stance in one step here. Slight bend in that back leg, he's gonna shoot. He's gonna get his hips in. Nice finish. Last time. Here's another clip of Ironman using the split step. Really nice sweep single here. So right here you can see, jumps both feet. So he's airborne, both feet are off the ground right here. He lands on his back leg, mid-level mid change, and he's stepping forward with that lead leg. And watch the power he's able to generate. So it's like a spring. The back foot is a spring here. And look how much distance he's able to close. He's able to like glide across the mat here. And it also allows him to get his angle for the sweep single here. Split step. Level change, big drive. And he gets the takedown. Last time. Before we close, here's a quick summary of some of the main ideas from this video. First, we talked about stance. Generally, we're gonna wanna narrow hip width stance and we want our legs to be staggered, meaning when one leg is gonna be leading, one leg's behind. We talked about level change. This will be accomplished by bringing the chest to the lead knee. Next was drive. The important concept here was that the drive was generated from the back leg, not the front. Positioning. Ideally, we want head up, hips in. One thing you can do to assist in this is to use your arms that have grabbed your opponent, that have hopefully grabbed your opponent's leg or legs to assist in pulling your hips in. Next, we talked about footwork options. So the basic, easiest option is just a simple level change and shoot. So your legs are already in position. You have that staggered stance. Uh, you're just gonna kind of keep them in place and shoot in. Can be very effective. Next, we have the drive and step. So this is gonna be level changing, loading up that back leg, and then you're gonna lift that front leg off the mat and you can either move forward or maybe to the side to change the angle. And then lastly, we, we talked about the split step. And this is really similar to the driving step, but it combines it more into a single maneuver. So you're gonna move the back leg and the front leg at the same time um, while the level change is occurring. That's gonna be it for this video. If you guys wanna leave feedback, feel free to do so in the comment section below. If you'd like to support my channel financially, you can do so through Patreon at the link in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.